In today's training, we will address reporting, how to create your own reports, and how to use the custom template reports already uploaded on the system. Let's begin. First, let's address how to build your own custom report within the system. To do this, navigate to the Reporting tab on the left-hand side of the screen and click on Reporting. You will notice under the Reporting tab there are two types of reports that you can create, the CSM report and the new version 2 report. In this demonstration, we will address both reports. We will first begin with Add New CSM Report. In building your report, you must first select the category of report that you would like to create. You can do this by clicking on the drop down and creating a report for either career counseling, contacts, events, jobs, employer information, student information, and more. Once you've selected the type of report you would like to generate, click on Continue. The new report form will appear. You can add a new title to the page at the top. You can also add a description for your report, which category it belongs under, or which group you would like to give permission to view your report. If you wish to save your report, click the Save As button. If not, you can unselect the Save As and just run the report as normal. Step 2 is to identify the fields and filters that you would like to include within your report. You will notice that there are different base class fields that you can select to generate inside the report. You can drill down inside each of these base classes to select the different criteria that you wish to report on. When you have finished selecting the criteria and search filters that you wish to include in your report, scroll to the bottom and click on Submit. The report will then process and will be harbored under the Review tab. You can click on View Your Report to see the results. The results for your search criteria will appear. If you wish to save these reports as an Excel file, click on Save as Excel or change the settings to your report, or regenerate the report to find new and updated information. Let's now learn how to add a new version 2 report. To do this, go to the Reporting tab and click on Add New V2 Report. You will be prompted to select how you would like to start your report. You can create a blank report or copy from an existing report that already exists in the system. We will address this later on in our training. Click on Create a Blank Report. The Settings window will appear and you can select what you would like to report on, just as you did in the version 1. For this example, we will select Career Counseling. You are now required to create a name for your report and, if desired, to insert a description of the report. The Report Editor window will appear where you have an option of viewing the hints on how to create reports. Creating a report in version 2 is simple. Click on the Add Columns tab in the top right corner to add the different filters that you wish to search for in your report. And click on Apply. Version 2 reports will show you a brief overview of what your report will look like when generated. You can save and generate if completed, or simply just save for a later time. The report will generate just as version 1 did, and the results will be shown below. You can also choose to save this as an Excel file by clicking on Save as Excel, or regenerate the report to get updated information. Now that you understand how to create and generate your own reports, let's look at how to use the template reports already uploaded to the system. Template reports can be found by searching the keywords box for template. All the template reports will appear in the drop down below. You can select a template report and edit that report by clicking on the edit icon from the left-hand side of the screen. 
you will be redirected to the exact same settings tab that you've seen in building your own reports. Please note, because this is a template, we need to keep the existing template intact for others to pull from. In order to do this, you need to rename the title of your report and select Copy to New Report in the lower left hand corner. You will also notice under the base classes, some of the fields have already been selected for you. You can add additional fields or simply use the Filter tab to lower down into your desired criteria. When you have finished completing the template form, scroll to the bottom and click Submit. Just as in building your own report, the templated report will then generate and results will be shown under the Review tab. Templated reports are being created in version 2. However, they are not yet available for administrator use. Now that you understand how to build your own reports and how to create reports from a template, you are ready to maximize your utility within the bridge. Good luck and thank you for joining us on our training tutorials for the BYU Bridge 2.0.